Hello, this is Uwe from Equiloud speaking here once again. Today I like to talk about um, my Fred one video again <laughs> and I like to talk about some um, morphing techniques that I used made with uh, Cinema 4D and there's already um, a tutorial online covering some of um, my animation work here of course and um, what I like to talk about today let me show you an example when you watch the video you can um, see that ball here, that metal ball that morphs into uh, a cube and it's falling into pieces and then it's building a cube and I used a very similar technique here at the very end you can see two balls and they hit each other and they um, morph into different forms um, I think it's going to be a um, very quick tutorial because uh, the technique actually is pretty simple to use so let's go into Cinema 4D here I've built up a scene, pretty simple just a cube and a, a pyramid and you have to make your objects editable by pressing C on your keyboard and then they're going to be um, polygon objects once you've done it you need to apply um, sinking particles geomet geometry object as you can see I'm running a German version of C4D so I'm going to translate if necessary but I'm um, a German, a native German speaker. So you need your particle geometry and you put your objects inside of it like that and you need a null object and you have to apply an expresso tag to, to that here so in, in the Expresso Editor window you have to right click and create a new node Syncing Particles TP Generator P Blurb and That's the thing what we need, the P Blurb It's uh, some kind of old school technique I guess It's uh, pretty simple to use So we don't need the Expresso Editor window but so I can drag it out here but we need um, the parameter window here and you have to place your objects inside of it cube and the pyramid like that and there's nothing happened yet because we have to animate it and you can switch off your objects here Oops red because we don't have to see them anymore here like that because it's now it's uh, visible by the particle geometry if you play it back nothing happens because we have to animate it and we're going to animate the animation phase down here just by control click you're going to apply a new keyframe and let's go to uh, frame 75 I think it's good and you're going to set it to 100% control click once again and if you play back now you should see yeah it's morphing okay it's working it's good so it's very basic here you can select your objects here and then you can tweak it a little bit here first of all let's change the axis like maybe like that um, you can play around with the, uh, with the tongans here so you can create um, a path that's um, um, for the pieces to uh, follow along you can increase the amount of pieces let's say to 500 thickness 5 and let's play it back going to move like that and basically that's the technique and you can um, you can trigger it a little bit by using um, a null object um, in the uh, 
particle geometry so let's create a new null object place it here inside of your particle geometry so let's go back to the parameter window of my p blurb and place your null object just right between the two objects and now you can change the path by changing the position of your null object if you play around with it you can see what happened you can add multiple um, null objects as well if you want to so now you can create a special form for your path or something like that now it's falling that way pretty nice and very simple I, I think it's just built within minutes and um, yeah that's it you can play around with the rest of it it's I don't want to be that detailed by now and you can do it with um, text objects as well if you extrude in text spline you have to convert uh, your new object into um, an editable object as well and um, then you can use the same technique with um, uh, with a P blurb etc and it's going to work um, so if you yeah please watch my other tutorial if you want to and there's some VJ clips you can download for free from my collection here uh, you can play around with them and if you're interested in some details about the music that was used in the FRED1 video you should go to the Human Workshop site watch out for uh, Garrett's tutorials here and yeah that's it thank you for watching and hope it was useful see you soon bye bye